So in the last video, we looked at money that was owed to us, our receivables ledger, and we imported customers and we imported customer invoices. And if you look at the dashboard, it says here, money you owe. Now, it says zero there, but if we look at the chart of accounts, we've got a payables ledger. So this is the chart of accounts, and what you can see here is that down here we've got creditors control account. It's the payables ledger. And there's a balance there of £14,500. And this means that we owe this money to somebody. We'll owe it either to suppliers of purchases goods for resale, or we might owe it to some expenses, overheads like general rates, travelling, telephone. So this is what we need to establish. So the total in the creditors control account or the payables control account at the 31st of December 18 was £14,500. Now obviously we need to know from our purchases or payables ledger what constitutes this 14500 Who do we owe the money to? So I just made these up. Supplier A, B, C and D, goods for resale, and I put these figures towards them. And then, because payables also includes expenses, overheads, I made up a local authority for business rates of 3000 I made a telephone uh, expense of 250 and some travel expenses of 250 which are payable. So this is how at the 31st of December 18 this is the payables ledger and what and it shows what needs to be paid. So I made a list of suppliers and I laid them out in the way that I'm going to import them into Quickfile. I put them into a Google spreadsheet and downloaded as a .csv file ready to be uploaded into Quickfile. So to start importing suppliers you go to account settings, import data and import suppliers. So this is the supplier import tool and you choose your file. So I've chosen the file from my local drive and now I'm clicking the upload button. So I'm presented with a very similar screen saying that I need to map the data in the in the spreadsheet which I'll go and do now. So I have mapped all of the columns and I'll click on save. Seven suppliers have been successfully imported into your Quickfile account and what I'm going to do now is click here to look at them. Okay, that looks absolutely fine. I've got the expense, I've got the local authority, supplier A, B, C and D and the telecoms telephone company. So using Google Sheets I created a spreadsheet with the supplier name, I made up an inv invoice numbers, I gave each invoice a description, an issue date, notice they're all in December 18 before the 31st of December 18. The VAT rate because I'm not dealing with VAT at the moment, uh, the total gross amount, the nominal code that I want these to go to and you can put the terms in as well in the spreadsheet and import them using the import tool. Notice that with suppliers A, B and C I just listed one invoice per supplier and I gave them one gross amount each. But with supplier D I split it up into four invoices totaling £5,000 so the supplier D will show four separate invoices on four separate dates that should hopefully import very well and so now I'm going to download this as a .csv file from Google Sheets. 
Now that I've downloaded the sp spreadsheet as a .csv file, I'm going to use Quick Files uh, import feature. So I go to Account Settings, Import Data, Import Purchase Invoices. And then you choose the file. So I've chosen the file and I'm going to click on Upload. And now I'm going to do the mapping exercise. Notice that Quickfile has uh, already identified some of the columns, so that's quite good. So I've mapped all the columns and I'm, about, I'm going to click Save. Ten purchases have been successfully imported into your Quickfile account. Click here to view them. So, here they are. And also notice that Supplier D has one, two, three, four invoices. And each invoice should have its own separate invoice number, Supplier Reference Invoice Number, that one 3483, the next one Supplier D 4116, so that's the suppliers invoice numbers. That's great. Now that we have imported the suppliers and imported purchase invoices, if you go back to the dashboard we can see here that we owe £14,500, which is exactly what we wanted. And if we go back through our purchases, we we'll go to December, oops, December 18, and we can see £14,500 of purchases there. However, we have the same issue that we had when we imported sales invoices. If we, if we go to the chart of accounts, we can see down here in the payables control account, or rather the creditors control account, it's twice as large as it should be. So let's take a look at the transactions inside that account. So, here they are. This is our opening balance, and that's the balance that it should be. But you see, we have sort of backfilled with these purchase invoices. So, how much are we over? Well, we're over by £14,500. And to correct this we're going to put a journal, but the this is the payables control account. Some of these payables are for expenses and some of these payables are for goods for resale. So let's look at some of the other accounts. Um, let's take a look at purchases, goods for resale. It's at £38,000 now, which is not correct. Let's take a look. And we can see that it should be 27000 That was the opening balance that we brought in at the 31st of December. And we've backfilled now with these other invoices. Notice there are seven of them, because we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And that's four invoices for supplier D and one invoice each, for sub one for supplier A, one for supplier B, one for supplier C, giving seven invoices. So we're actually, just a moment, £11,000 higher here than we should be. And it's the same situation with general rates, or business rates. That's higher than it should be. The, the balance should be 6950, 6950, and um, because we backfilled, so to speak, with this invoice of, of 3000 pounds, we're 3000 pounds higher than we should be. The same for travelling. We're 250 pounds higher than we should be and the same for telephone.
we're I think it was 250 pounds yep 250 pounds higher than we should be there so the way to correct this is by the use of a journal so to correct the account balances I'm going to create a new journal and this is the journal entry page I'm going to complete the journal now so this is the journal entry that I've created I've dated it the 31st of December 18 I've named it correct payables control and these are the entries that I've made we need to reduce the purchases that count per goods for resale we need to reduce that by eleven thousand pounds so that's a credit there we need to reduce the rates account by three thousand pounds we need to reduce the traveling account by 250 and reduce the telephone by 250 and we need to reduce the payables control account by the total of 14,500 so I'm just going to save the journal so if we now go back to the chart of accounts we can see that purchases is at 27,000 which is what it should be because this is what we entered the trial balance with purchases 27,000 business rates 6950 business rate 6950 telephone 500 and travel 550 travel 550 telephone 500 and finally payables control 14500 payables control 14500 So, if we go back to the dashboard, we can see that we've now entered our sales invoices and we've entered our customers. So we've created a sales or receivables ledger and, and filled in the invoices for December before we imported the trial balance. We went, after we did that, we went to the chart of accounts and we put another journal in to correct the doubling up because when we backfill or when we create a payables ledger or a, or a sales ledger we're actually doubling up on the control account so that's what we did with with sales and we've done exactly the same with purchases although there was a little bit of a extra journal with purchases because some purchases related to goods for resale some purchases related to overheads and one purchase related to a travel expense so on balance I think importing or, or migrating to quickfile using the import features for importing a trial balance and then importing uh, customers suppliers sales invoices and purchase invoices is a fairly simple thing to do as long as you take note of the chart of accounts to make sure that you're not doubling up the final thing I'd say is that there was a notice about VAT I can't remember exactly what it said but it was in either the first or the second video that I made on this and it was something about VAT not going to be imported so I'm going to take a look into that and I might make another another video with a, perhaps a more complex trial balance with VAT included but anyway for now thanks for watching